And in the fifth year of Yoram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, Jehoshaphat, being then king of Judah, Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, began to reign. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. Jehoram was thirty and two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Yehu, the son of Hanani, who is mentioned in the book of the kings of Israel. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat, and his might that he shewed, and how he warred, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father, and Jehoram his son reigned in his stead. Now Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Jehoram his son reigned in his stead. And he had brethren, the sons of Jehoshaphat, Azariah, and Jehiel, and Zechariah, and Azariah, and Michael, and Shephatiah. All these were the sons of Jehoshaphat, king of Israel. And their father gave them great gifts of silver and of gold, and of precious things with fenced cities in Judah. But the kingdom gave he to Jehoram, because he was the firstborn. Now when Jehoram was risen up to the kingdom of his father, he strengthened himself, and slew all his brethren with the sword, and divers also of the princes of Israel. And he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, as did the house of Ahab. For the daughter of Ahab was his wife, and he did evil in the sight of the Lord. Yet the Lord would not destroy Judah for David his servant's sake, as he promised him to give him alway a light, and to his children. And he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, like as did the house of Ahab. For he had the daughter of Ahab to wife, and he wrought that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord. Howbeit the Lord would not destroy the house of David because of the covenant that he made, because of the covenant that he had made with David and as he promised to give a light to him and to his sons forever. Moreover, he made high places in the mountains of Judah, and caused the inhabitants of Jerusalem to commit fornication, and compelled Judah thereto.